Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Today, I will show you how the hatched baby koi are developing in my 3000 square feet natural pond. If you're interested in building a big pond with outliner, check out the video on my channel. Heavy rainfall in May caused an increase in water levels, and you can clearly see that the pasture around the pond is flooded. Normally, the water surface reaches right up to the reed bed, but it's risen about 10 inches. You can clearly tell that the koi are enjoying the fresh water. The large, newly formed waterfront areas were soon used by the koi to spawn. Check out the koi spawning video on my channel. They swam through the reed beds into the flooded meadow and attached the eggs to the reeds and rushes. Quite promptly after about four days, thousands of small koi hatched, right before the water level started to drop again. By their orange and yellow color, the baby koi were clearly visible in the dark water. Here I had taken some out to photograph them for you. At this stage, the koi grew very fast. After about 10 days, they were up to one third of an inch. I could observe, after a short time, that they were already eating algae and water fleas. In groups of about 40, they looked for shelter under the rushes. After about 3 months, which would be August, the koi were already between 1.5 to 3.5 inches long and even began to eat the koi food. The pond was now regularly visited by herons and kingfishers who were eager to eat the koi. As you can see here, as he eats one of what looks like one of the bigger baby koi. So I tried to protect the shallow water zones with nets after this happened. But as soon as the young fish swam in the middle of the pond, they were no longer safe also. So a better solution had to be made and thus a fish keeping net was made to protect the baby koi. There's a detailed tutorial on my channel on how to build the net. This net has a capacity of approximately 1,300 gallons. The covers made of twin wall panels and nets should protect against predators and frost. And through the net walls, the young fish will always be supplied with fresh pond water. The koi are counted before being put into the net. I put 250 of them in the keeping net.
So far, moving the koi into the nets has worked very well. The net is located in deep water so that fish droppings and dirt can escape below. The koi continue to grow and are already over 4 inches long in September. I'm looking forward to spring and hope that the koi will survive the winter well. As soon as there's any news, I will report again with a video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel for updates. I appreciate your comments and likes. Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm Carlo Landscape Guy. Thank you.